my dear reader and Romanenko and Ukraine I wrote about is today with you fresh updatements and we are going to talk today about food one of the chapters in my book is called tell me what you eat and I will tell you whether you are Ukrainian let me cite to Bernard Shaw he said that there is no sincere love than the love for food don't you agree? But we are putting aside a book today and we are taking on an apron. This is the first time when the author is going to teach you how to cook one of the most delicious traditional fantastic dishes called borscht. Take your apron on, grab your ingredients, let's go! I usually cook borscht from broth, which is prepared from pork. Until the broth is boiling, you need to prepare the following ingredients Cabbage, carrot, onion, beetroot, tomato puree or fresh tomatoes Be aware of the taste of your products, they should be fresh and delicious Otherwise, the borscht won't be tasty Do not forget to add salt to the broth Later you will be also adding it with vegetables and by taste, however, this is important to put salt in order because meat doesn't have salt and it won't be delicious. As you may see we have such foam which should be gathered with the spoon and taken so the broth should be as transparent as possible. I hope there is no need to mention that the vegetables should be washed and peeled The carrot. carrot is already happy because it is going. Here comes the beetroot. Actually, why the bush has a red color? It's because of the beetroot. Ta -da -da! The beetroot is coming to join our carrot. During this uh, we are adding some seasonings, salt, black pepper, majorana and other spices, everything by taste. Adding sugar and salt. I am trying to achieve sour and sweet taste. I think it's what makes borscht is borscht. Sweet, spicy, salty. As you may see, onion already. Join the company of beetroot and carrot, also spices, black pepper, marijuana, some herbs, everything by your taste, special tricks. I am always taking uh, some broth from, from the pan and adding it to the frying pan. In such a way the vegetables getting so called steaming and the juices from the vegetables combining together with the broth and adding additional taste. To add tomato, which will be the final note of our musical called borscht. In different regions of Ukraine, borscht is cooked differently. Somebody adding uh, extra ingredients like beans. Today we are cooking together with my reader and this is a unique occasion, so I decided to prepare not a traditional Anne and Rose borscht, but I decided to add beans. Right now they are lying in a harmony frying with other vegetables and waiting to be added. Don't forget to take out your meat, because most probably nobody will be happy to find such a big iceberg in your titanic borscht. So we are taking it, putting it to the plate and waiting for the boiling bubbles, which will signal that the borscht is ready. In 
enjoy your meal. The borscht is ready. It was Anne and our borscht. I hope your borscht is so delicious as mine. Everything about Ukraine, everything what is interesting, everything what you have never heard, I will tell you because I am Ukrainian and I love my country. Stay in tune, will be more entertaining, more fresh updates. You will see, you will never be bored with the author who can not only write, but speak, cook, and who knows what. Everything will be further. Subscribe to my channel, Facebook, YouTube, and order my book on Amazon. Holidays are coming, this can be a very great present. And what can be better than a book under the Christmas tree? Take care, have a nice day. See you later. Yours and Romanenko. Not only the author, but the ship.